Hello and welcome to grammar handout number seven. Okay, so our objective is to identify dependent and independent clauses. So let's start with some definitions. So a clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. So clause, again, it's a group of words containing a subject and a verb. So let's look at a few examples. When Susie ate cake. So notice I have a subject, Susie, so that's my subject. And I also have a verb, ate, that's my verb. So this is a clause because it has a subject and a verb. Let's look at the next example. Joe walked to the store. Again, I have a subject, Joe, that's my subject. And then I also have a verb, walked. Let's look at the next example. After Susie shopped, again, I have a subject. And then I have shopped, which is a verb. So again, all of these are clauses because they all have a subject and a verb. So all are clauses because they all have a subject plus a verb. Okay, here are some non-examples. In the park and after the theater. Notice I have a noun in the sentence but I don't have a verb. So these cannot be clauses because they're missing a verb. So these are not clauses because we're missing a verb. Okay, independent versus independent. So independent clauses versus dependent clauses. So independent clauses are clauses that can stand alone. So independent clauses are clauses that can stand alone. So complete sentences are independent clauses. So complete sentences are independent clauses. So some examples are Susie ate the cake. Joe went to the store. Both of these have a subject, a verb, and they can stand alone. So they have a subject and a verb, and it can stand alone, okay? On the other hand, dependent clauses cannot stand by itself. So dependent clauses can't stand alone, and dependent clauses are not complete thoughts. Dependent clauses are not complete thoughts. Okay, so dependent clauses begin with subordinating conjunctions, okay? So dependent clause will always start with a subordinating conjunction. This is a list of common subordinating conjunctions. So if you, if you have a dependent clause, it will most likely start with one of these. So dependent clauses start with one of these conjunctions. Okay, let's try a few examples. So here are some examples of some dependent clauses. Because Mary and Samantha arrived at the bus station before noon, while he waited at the train station, when they left on the bus. So notice, these are all dependent clauses. Notice, it begins with a subordinating conjunction. So with a subordinating conjunction. It has a subject and it has a verb. Okay, so just to review, you have an independent clause. If it has a subject and a verb and it can stand by itself or if it's a complete thought, you have a dependent clause if it begins with a subordinating conjunction like because, while, and when, and if it has a subject and a verb. So when we're going to do one practice problem together, I'll let you do the rest by yourself. So a lot of this is kind of reviewed from the previous videos. So the question says, identify the following as a dependent or independent clause, and then label the simple subject, simple predicate, and complement. So when Susie writes letters, notice it begins with a subordinating conjunction. So notice it begins with a subordinating conjunction. 
So it's a dependent clause because it's beginning with a subordinating conjunction. All right. Now I can label my subject, predicate, and complement. My simple subject is Susie. Remember, simple predicate just means verb. My only verb in that sentence is right, so that's my simple predicate. Now, writes is an action verb. Just remember, if you have an action verb, the question you need to ask yourself is, is there anything receiving the action? So let's ask ourselves that question. Is there anything receiving the action? And the answer is yes. Letters is receiving the action. Letters is what's being written, so it's my direct object. Is there anything receiving the letters? No, so I only have a direct object for my complement. Okay. All right, I will let you do the rest of those by yourself. Please have these finished, and we'll go over in class. God bless you, and have a good day.